Hi everybody, I'm Elijah from Cookerdo, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, well, kind of two types of cheesy potatoes. Um, we're going to make wedges with big potatoes like these. These are kind of just like normal store-bought potatoes. And then I'm going to show you what to do with tiny ones like these, um, otherwise known as like, I don't know, salad potatoes. And you can see with that when you farm your own potatoes, you get tons of different sizes and shapes. So I'm going to be teaching you guys what to do with those and just make some delicious food with it. So let's get started. Okay, we got our potatoes washed and everything. We got them on the board. And I'm just going to cut these up into fries. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take one of these potatoes, cut it long ways, not this way. I'm going to do it this way. Alright. So now, we're going to take this flat side. I'm going to go across like that. And you can cut them as big as you want. It doesn't matter. And we're just going to do that with all of these potatoes. But, I know you guys don't want to watch me do this for like 40 minutes. That's probably how long it's going to take. Not very long. Um, so, it, and because of YouTube magic, it's just going to take like this. Okay, so now we've got probably about half of the potatoes done into fries, like this. And so now, we're just going to make the rest of the, all of these potatoes over here into bits. Alright, so, we're going to take our knife, and we're going to cut them into fry-like shapes like before. Except this time... We're going to cut them into like little cubes. They should be like this when you're done. Alright, so again, I'm going to turn all of these little potatoes into tiny little bits, just like that. Okay, so we're going to take all these cube potatoes and put them in this skillet. Okay, so this is called Potatoes O'Brien, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit of oil on this, some salt and pepper, and then we're gonna put a lid over it, and we're gonna cook it until it's soft and crispy, and it will be so good. Okay, so we put all of those fries on this pan. We're gonna oil them. We're gonna put them in the oven at 425. And then, we're gonna pull them out when they're soft. They're not done, but they're soft. And we're gonna poke, we're not gonna poke them. We're gonna smash them with a fork. Then we're gonna oil them. We're gonna salt, pepper them. And then we're gonna add a little bit of chili powder and then stick them back in. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to take some chili powder, some salt and pepper, and just put that on this stuff. These potatoes, right now, are super duper soft. And I think we're gonna be able to add the cheese to it. All right, so now I'm gonna stick this back in the oven until this all melts. Oh yeah. No. Look at it this way. Mm. Mm, that is very good. Okay, so those potatoes were done, and they were super easy to make too. Um, those are just one of many recipes to do um, that we're gonna show you guys. Um, and they were super easy to do too. It's and they taste better than they do when you buy them out at the store. Because when you buy them at McDonald's and stuff, they just kind of taste gross. 
and just when you make it better at home, you know what's inside of it, and you know what's good, and it, it tastes so good, and it's a lot cheaper too, and it's better to just do it at home. So, if I can make loaded potatoes and chopped up potatoes, anybody can. Bye.